How's it going, my Dandelions? Welcome to Craft the World. Now, this is a game we played before quite a little bit ago now, honestly. And we got ourselves a female off the bat. It has been a long time since I played this, but a couple people were commenting about the game. So I thought, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and play the game and kind of get back into it. Now, I did receive all the DLCs, I'm pretty sure, from one of our subscribers. Now, DD sent us all these things. If I'm correct, that's who it was. I hope that's who it was because I would feel horrible if I said the wrong person. Now, we're going to go ahead and set some things up just in case, you know, our people want to go a specific way or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and put this here and put that there so they know not to go through this direction, I hope. And now we are also going to put one all the way, honestly, back here. So we know our people not to go this direction as well. Now, that's actually a lie. I, I lied. I lied. I lied. We're going to keep one of those just in case something dangerous happens underneath. Now, we did get a female here. So we got a dine. Now, I don't know if you can name them, but she is a cook and she is a woman who has a hat but doesn't have a hat at the same time. So if I take that off and I put that on, yeah, she's, you know, she's a little special. Says she has a hat. Doesn't have a hat. What does she have? I have no freaking idea. But what we're going to do is we're going to get it so she can go ahead and chop that down. And then she can dig this. Dine. Sweet. And then we're going to speed the game up to at least two. I think that's fair. Yeah. Let's go to two speed right now. And then she's going to go chop this up, hopefully. I really like her hair. I think she looks really pretty. I love the fact that they introduced women to this game now. Because before, they they didn't. Although, technically, there was never really any dwarven females. If you think about it, There's not really it's not really a thing. Um, but I do like that. I think that's really cool. At least I heard that it wasn't a thing from something. I don't remember where I heard that, but I heard that. So we're going to go ahead and chop all this up. Because we think we're going to flatten this land out. And we can start building up our empire here. Our dwarven colony. Which is where everything's going to go according to plan. And make things look a lot nicer. Now this here we can have as a wall. Kind of protecting us. But I do like. Oh. Alright. She kind of just pieced out on it. And nothing really happened. I know the females have less HP. But they're faster. Than the males. So that's one thing that's pretty cool about them. Now let's see what we get. We got ourselves a male dwarf. And for leveling up we unlocked a few things here. Nothing too special, but the totem, which is really good, which will allow your people to sleep where they need to. Mim. Mim the Miller. That is a great name, and he has a great beard to go with that name as well. Now, we're going to go ahead. We got some of those things there. So, first thing I'm going to get him is a axe, and then we're going to build, I'm going to say three of those. I'm going to also equip these on our boy here, Mim, and I'm going to equip this on her. I'm going to take her hat off since it doesn't seem to work. And I would give it to Mim, but Mim actually looks amazing. Like, I don't know if you guys see him. He actually looks like, honestly, like an absolute beast of a character. I love his hair. I love his beard. It matches her hair, the beard, including his hair, kind of. Her hair's a little lighter where he has a darker hair color. But Mim looks amazing. Like, he actually looks super cool. Damn, Mim. You look like a beast, my guy. Once you deposit those things there, we're going to actually be able to make you a pickaxe, hopefully. So let's go into here and look at pickaxe. Craft that. We're gonna accept that with arms wide open. It's gonna unlock the tech tree. We're gonna kinda see what we can unlock here. We don't really care too much about much of that stuff right now. But I'd like to give you that. And then we'll go back into here and see what's new. So we got beds and comfortable chairs and stuff like that, which we don't really care too too much about. I can grab the dirt, which is nice. And use that as a backdrop. We also got a logger's book. So we can give that to possibly Mim. Yeah, let's give it to Mim. He's a miller. But now he's going to be a logger. So he's going to get levels up for chopping down trees and stuff like that. Which is going to be quite nice. So then we're going to go ahead and dig up all this as well. So it's going to be quite useful here. So this is going to allow us to get ourselves kind of situated and let everything happen. Now I would like to replace this stone here. And I would like to do that and build those blocks. That's where all of our dirt's gonna go. 
So we're gonna have a background a background of dirt temporarily until we can get stone and rocks and all that fun stuff kind of put in here. Now the game can get really hard since there's some new mods. Um, it's going to introduce a lot of monsters, and I don't really know much about the monsters or anything like that. So I really, really, really hope that they're not too bad, you know? I went ahead and paused it there so I could turn up the game volume. If you guys were wondering what the heck I just did that for. But that's what that was for. I'm going to ignore this. We could do, maybe strip this down a little bit. We are under attack, that's fine. I think we'll be okay. We're going to get another dwarf here. Let's see what we get. We get another female and her name. Hopefully we'll figure that out soon. I'm gonna grab this light magic and put it down there. We got some torches and stuff we can kinda chill with. And then we got ourselves Ida. We got Ida the logger, which is funny because we already just had that. So we got the book for the logger. Now we have Ida the logger. I'm gonna take off her hat because again it doesn't seem to show on women. Yeah. Does not seem to show on her. She looks really cool with the hat on, honestly. But she looks amazing. She looks like an absolute beast. She looks like the kind of woman that would really mess somebody up. So I like her. I think she looks phenomenal. We can go ahead, I guess, and use some stone as a background. Because we actually got a decent amount of stone. So maybe if we do that, this is going to allow us to kind of build up our little base here. Which would be quite nice, because this is going to break apart, which is what we want. Oh, skeletons and stuff are coming. She just leveled up her logging skill, which is sweet. They're just constantly getting pushed off the edge there. There we go. And there's this guy here, which they're just going to keep using him, so sure, that works, I guess. Do we get anything specific or nice? Nice, they actually got rid of that, which is amazing. Chitin, some apples, nothing too specific. Alright, not bad. We can go ahead and get rid of those berries, get rid of that. I want to get rid of this here. And then I want them to take up this backdrop. Actually, I think that's far enough. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. And this is where our base is gonna be built up. I'm gonna put that there. Build the stone there. And then we'll get stone here, here. Slowly they'll be able to do that. And everything will kinda add up and hopefully be a little bit nicer. I'm gonna break this down as well once we can. Gonna get intruded on by a cute little woman as well. You know, typical life. He's gonna climb up there. Oh, he's gonna fail. Oh, he's gonna keep trying, but don't succeed, try again, I guess. That's his motto right there. I'm gonna build a ton of ladders. I'm gonna make me build one more just to get that completed. Complete that on the tech tree. I don't know what this stuff is, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Health of the dwarves, mana, skill level threshold, production speed. I have no idea what that stuff is. That unlocked this stuff for us, which is quite nice. Oh yeah, there's shields too now. There's a lot of stuff in this game now. A lot of stuff I'm not really used to either. We just hit level four, which is sweet. Can we get ourselves another male dwarf? I would like our people to gather this wheat here. And then there's a book, a swimmer's book, not bad. If we get a if we get a fisher, I would like to give that to him. We got Logan, he is a cook. We have, so we have two cooks now. We got Adine, who is a cook. And we got Logan. Now we should be able to give these people helmets. And by giving them the helmets, they are going to hopefully get a little bit stronger. So let's give that all to them. The women don't get equipped helmets, which is weird. They get them, but they, it doesn't show that they equip them, so that's a little weird. I'm gonna go down here next and start our cave splunking adventures. I would like to put these at the edges of our base as well. Doesn't show that we can put those there, but we can once our character has access to that point. I don't know how 
how to get there. That's okay. You'll know how to get there eventually. Once we start doing this, you're going to start being able to place these things down. Just going to put a portal up here. It's going to really help them out if they want to take it, that is. Seem to be beasts and not really care too much about it. There we go. Nice. Heck yeah, there we go. Our first little base is going to be built up. Now we'll need a door. Which I don't think we get for a long time. Wool we need is one right here. There's a tree ant over there, so you gotta be careful of that. That is a, whoops. There we go, let's kinda have our people focus on the animals real quick. Getting rid of the sheep is gonna be nice. We got rid of that. Next is the boar. The boar will actually fight back. We need that wool. That's why we did that. We're also going to go all the way over here and look for another sheep. There's two over here, which is nice. I would like to get them both. Oh my gosh. There we go. As long as we can get those, that's going to be really awesome. Because that's going to give us all the wool we need to hopefully make up some armor. Nice. Six string, one body armor, some iron ore, which is amazing. Wooden hatch, we can make one of those. Lights, we're gonna have to make a whole bunch. So let's do that. It's also gonna level us up, which is pretty sweet. Now we got some iron built up in here. Can make a whole bunch of those, one of that. And then we kind of ran out, I guess. I don't think we really need any of those. Nope. All right, we leveled up and we got some free wool, which is cool. But we don't have enough to make another armor because we need leaves. We have to build everybody a shield, which is going to be sweet. So we're going to go into here. Going to give Hamilton that. I was going to give him a helmet. Going to give him a shield. Give you a shield. Everyone's going to get a shield, and they're going to look freaking awesome with them. Dine. You're our first person, so you're going to get some body armor. At least that shows. That's pretty dope. Kind of crazy that it's got that full of water. Wow. That is kind of insane. Here's all of our missions. Doing these is going to give us a whole bunch of free rewards. Now, in order to... Oops. In order to get the door unlocked, we need to get the metal working here. So, we need to get a lot more iron. So, I really need my people to come through here as soon as I can. So, let's grab you. Let's control you. I can't break that, can I? Wow, you actually can't. There we go. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to get in here? There we go. Perfect. I'm gonna break through here. Because now we can go down through here, break this stuff. Our people are under attack up there, I think that's fine. We're gonna break all this. Gonna kill this guy. We can break this. I like the fact that you can control your dwarf. I think it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to be able to make everybody kind of queue up and do stuff while I also can control this character here and do stuff as him. 
This guy's kind of stuck there. So I do that, he's not going to be stuck there anymore. He's going to make it so he can fall. <laughs> New hero available. A dwarf th thinker who discovers the secrets of the universe. Learn how to tear the fabric of spirit. So we need 10 coins. I would love to get him. I don't know what that's going to do. So that'd be pretty cool. Hunter's book sounds amazing. I'd like to get all this stuff mined up. If I can, I would like to get all this mined up. So we're going to control this guy for a little bit and actually play as him. I think that'd be quite fun. This is going to really help us out. Filling up this mine. Oh, it's going to save us so much time. There we go. We're going to release him. Good job, my dude. That was really, really awesome. Cook Hunter. Owen. You know what? Owen, you're now a Cook Hunter. Got another Cook, which is kind of crazy. Let me give you that and that. There you go, my dude. We're going to break this. Break all this. I can do this. Thank you, Alicia. She got me a hot chocolate. Did you throw off it? Mm -hmm. Did you throw off in my hot chocolates? Yeah, it looks professional, isn't it? It does. It looks like a really good one. I just need ice cream and then bam, it looks like it's... Barista. Future barista in the making. Damn right. <laughs> She's in my cheek. A future barista. We have a zombie brain already? We do. Hell yeah. We need that. Perfect. Zombies I thought didn't have brains. Da da da! We got zombie brains, baby. Now I'm gonna control this guy here. Control you. You're gonna try and run back, but I'm not gonna have you run back. I'm gonna have you become the mastermind. Look at this, babe. It's a cool feature about this game. Yeah. You can control the dwarf, so I can take control of him. And I can, while queuing up things for my other dwarfs to do, mm -hmm. I can do them as well. And I can reach things that the other dwarfs can't reach, which is quite cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. <clears throat> Another hunter's book. Heck yeah. Don't mind if I done diddly do. Gonna dig up like a madman. This hot chocolate smells so good, guys. You don't even know. If you guys like hot chocolate, ask Alicia. Maybe she'll make you one. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. They smell very good. But I'm excited to play this game again because this is one of my favorite games, honestly. I'm such a huge dwarf and crafting kind of guy. Like, I love anything to do with dwarves. I think it's such an amazing freaking game. And I'm glad that people are starting to enjoy it again. So guys, this is uh, Craft the World. If you want to get it, it's quite cheap on Steam. If you want to support me even farther, we now have members, which I need to go ahead and shout out again, guys. I always forget, so I apologize for this. But guys, thank you so much to all the members we have on the channel. It's quite ridiculous. Shoutouts to Liam. Shoutouts to Stacy, who is our number one supporter. She is paying the second highest one, which is quite ridiculous. I wonder, can I reach that? I'm pretty sure I can. But she's paying the second highest premium that you can get. So huge shoutouts to Stacy, honest to God. It's quite ridiculous. Shoutouts to Liam. Shoutouts to Khan. Shoutouts to my brother. And uh, yeah, like always, guys, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of us down below. If you want to join us on the grind for the ability to become a member, then there's a link in the description. But like always, my name is Daniel. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Let's check out this guy's stats before I say it. Who was it? It was this guy. 16 mining. Wow. All right. Peace.